What's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna do a story. Um, it's kind of an embarrassing story, <laughs> but it's a little bit funny, and I've told it to a lot of people. Um, and I got no shame, you know. Shit, shit happens, <laughs> and um, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so um, I really need to do this before Nicole gets here, cause Nicole is coming with her kids, and um. They're bringing me some pizza, too, she said. <laughs> okay, so, let me start off by saying, well, first of all, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and enjoy my story. Um, so, for all you former addicts or current addicts or any anybody that is an addict, if you've been in an NA meeting and people are talking about crack cocaine and several people have to get up and excuse themselves, that's because something about crack or thinking about crack or talking about crack makes you have to poop, okay? <laughs> and I, okay, so I was in jail. I was in Wayne County Jail. And um, I was supposed to be getting a visit that day. My mom was coming to see me. She had come downstate from Oscoda, something in my eye, um, for, I figured the reason why she was coming down was to score some fucking drugs, because she smokes crack, or she did, you know, so, so I, I knew, I prepared myself, guys, I fucking prepared myself, <laughs> and, um, I went to the bathroom before everything, I was totally, totally ready for my visit, and, so then they call me out. And this CO, let me tell you about the CO. This CO looked like the bride of Chucky, guys. I mean, like, her hair was like this big up on her hair. It was black. She had such black ass makeup on her eyes and thick lipstick. I mean, she was a serious, scary lady, okay? And people try to get, like, tight in with her. But she liked the men. So her pants were so tight. It showed her vagina and everything. Like, every outline. This woman was, ugh, she was gross. Anyway, so... So, I'm in my visit with my mom, and we're talking, and everything, and it's going good, and I'm asking her, like, what she went down there here, you know, why she came down, and, you know, then she tells me that she had to go meet up with Hardy, and tells me that she has a bunch of crack in her purse. Okay, so, I... I'm like, okay, I'm in jail. There's glass separating us, right? So there's nothing that I can do about it. But as I'm talking, I start feeling like I got to go, guys. And I'm like bouncing and I'm stepping on, squirming all over the place. And I'm trying to sit on my foot and I'm trying to go all over this fucking little visiting room trying to, <laughs> trying to hold this back. Because if they take me out of my visit, they won't bring me back. And she came all the way from Oscoda to see me. I mean, technically to get drugs, but to see me too, so, um, I was, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna stop this visit and then not be able to see her anymore, so I'm just doing my best to hold it, I'm trying to hold it, she's cracking up laughing, my mom just thought it was the funniest shit in the whole world, so, what I finally ended up doing, guys, <laughs> is, I was the only one visiting, okay, and there's, like, um, three or four, like, cubicle off visiting areas or whatever and so I decided all right I'm gonna just go for broke here you know so I went down to the last visiting section and fucking dropped trout and <laughs> just went to the bathroom on the floor and I mean it was a lot guys like it was very surprising to me because like I said I already knew had a sort of inkling you know um, suspicion that something might happen so I went to the bathroom and there was nothing that could prepare me for that especially because it was right on the other side of the glass from me you know so that's the part that um, got me probably the the worst because I knew that it was right so close but so far you know like and and that fucking CO lady <laughs> when she comes in there and she's like Oh, what's that smell? And I'm like, I had an accident 
And I'm like really embarrassed. You know, I was really embarrassed and ashamed. And she was so rude to me. She was like, you're disgusting. I don't think you're getting out of here. You need to be committed. <laughs> and my mom is just laughing still, just laughing her head off on the other side of this glass. And the CEO's getting so flustered. She's calling me my mom's name. She doesn't even know who she's fucking talking to. <laughs> and... And yeah, and so then they made, so what I had done was I, because I had layers on, you know, I had like long johns and then my, you know, um, blues or whatever. I think it was blue in Wayne County. Too many to keep track of, but yeah. And so I had to use that stuff to wipe with. So I just threw that all away and they had to get a trustee chick to come and mop the floor up. And that CEO was yelling and cussing me out the whole time. And she, when she brought me back from my visit, she said, I don't even want to see you. I don't even want to look at your face. Just get in yourself. <laughs> and she was like, she was really rude. And then it just so happened that the next day was my release day. And she was the same CEO who came to get me to release me. So then she called my name and she's like, done. And then um, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go. And then she's like, are you ready to go right now or am I going to leave you here? Like, um, I don't want to stay here. Please don't leave me. <laughs> But yeah, so <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it's funny. It's kind of a funny story. I mean, I guess like who shits on the floor in a jail visiting room? <laughs> Me, this girl right here. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, uh, it's it's it is what it is, right? I mean, and the people that I told when I went back to my cell, they thought it was really funny. Um, but the, that CEO and probably that trustee, she probably didn't find it funny. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I just have a feeling that they're going to show up here any minute. So I will see all of you later. I hope you like my story. I love you all.